today I'm going to be doing a full review and at the end of this video I'll have a full eye tutorial on the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey Palette. So, I will have to admit that I debated about getting this palette for quite a while. I was like, should I, shouldn't I? The colors online, when I looked at them, they didn't speak to me. They weren't like the usual colors I would gravitate towards, even though they have a beautiful warmth to them. But the reason I decided to go ahead and pick it up is because my name on YouTube, before I changed it to my Melissa Parada regular name, is Honeybee Philosophy. And if you don't know why my channel's named that, Honeybee means Melissa in Greek and I've always used Honeybee in like my instant messenger and my emails and everything like that it just really spoke to me for some reason so that's why it's Honeybee Philosophy so I kind of couldn't pass up on this for that exact reason it has a honeycomb pattern on the outside like how stinking cute is this I do not have the peanut butter and jelly palette Again, that was a palette that I had similar colors to, I just didn't feel like I needed it. But I'm really glad that I tried this palette out because overall I am enjoying it. So I'm going to speak to what I like and what I dislike. So first off, the packaging. I love that it's their metal packaging with the magnetic closure on the front. Love how slim and compact this is. Really great for travel. If you have a lot of makeup like I do, it's easy to put in your makeup collection. And I kind of love that the packaging wraps all the way around because if I have it standing up straight, I can see the honeycomb pattern when I open my drawer and I know what palette it is. So I really love that about it. Also, there's a little honeybee. I'm going to do close-ups for you guys. There's a little honeybee right here. So stinking cute. Okay. And this, this, by the way, is a little bit raised off the top. This whole little peanut butter and honey piece of toast right here. So inside the palette, you get a total of nine shadows. Three larger pan shadows that are more for highlighting the brow bone, the inner corner. And then you have six other shades ranging from mattes, satins, and shimmers. You also have this little pamphlet that comes out that gives you some ideas for different eye looks. Behind that is a mirror. And I love how this is laid out. Only thing, I think this has been spoke about a couple times, the lighter highlight shades, they aren't like wow in your face highlight shades. They are a little bit more subdued, which I think are beautiful for the brow bone. Not so excited for them for the inner corner. You'll see in my tutorial I did use two of these shades and you'll see how they perform. The pink matte shade is not a shade I will really gravitate towards when it comes to highlighting, but for a deeper complexion I can see that being a more uh, a good alternative because this one's super fair as well as this one. Now in the more um, deeper tones here, you have four mattes, and most of them I used today. I think I actually used all of them. I did. I used all of the mattes on my lid today, and I am really impressed by them. Peanut butter has been in past palettes, but it is one that I always gravitate towards. It has such a beautiful warmth that goes perfect in the crease. So I'm really excited that they included that again. Then you have Honey Brittle which has more of a corally pinky tone to it. And it really comes off on the lid. It really is pigmented. So I love that one. I'm, it's really surprising what colors I love in this palette because generally I wouldn't, gravitated, I wouldn't have never gravitated toward them if they were in a single pan. But because they're in this palette and I kind of didn't want to just buy it just to buy it, I wanted to use it, I'm really excited about how this eye look turned out and how the shadows are performing. Honey Buns is the next one and it is a mustardy kind of yellow. And it looks super bright, but honestly, I have it on my eyes today in the inner third. It's really wearable, and I feel like it makes my green eyes pop even more. Then there is Going Nuts. This one is a satin shade. It's more of a purpley, bronzy tone. I have not used this all over, but I used it in my outer corner today. I felt like it blended well, but it is very dark. And it kind of leans a little more towards, like, blackish purple. So it's something I would use in a smoky eye, but not much else. Then Bee's Knees, which is a kind of more reddish tone bronze with some glitter, micro glitters. There's like gold glitters in it. I have not tried this on my eyes yet, but I will show you in swatch form. It's very pretty swatched, so I have high hopes for it. And then Feeling Nutty. This one is more of a goldeny yellow bronzy color. It is matte as well, and I used that in my crease and loved it too today. So I'm really pleasantly surprised with this palette. I thought I wasn't going to love it, but I actually do see myself gravitating towards this because I could too. A very nice, neutral, 
um, with a little pop of color shadow even for every day. When it comes to the performance of these shadows, I do feel that they, some of them, especially the mattes, pick up a bit of product, um, so like a little bit powdery. However, as long as I tap off my brush, they blend really well into the skin and they are still pigmented. So if you don't mind a bit of fallout um, when you brush your brush through here, then you shouldn't have an issue as long as you tap off your brush. You can't expect to rub your brush in there, get a ton of product popping up, and then just splat it right on your face. It's gonna get all over your face. You really do need to tap off your brush before applying. So that's probably the one negative, if any. Um, it also has a peanut butter scent. I can get a slight honey, but it smells a lot more like peanut butter. It smells delicious. I want some peanut butter now. Do I think that everyone needs this palette? Definitely not. It's not a must have ever, like I'm gonna tell you, run out and get it right now. However, it is limited edition, and if after you see my tutorial, if you appreciate the color payoff, if you appreciate how well they blended and the natural look it gives, then I'd say definitely get it. Maybe even wait to get a 20% off coupon at Ulta. Um, or if Too Faced website ends up having a coupon, it would be worth it then. But this is limited edition, so just be wary of that. I'm just going to quickly read what it says on the back and what it claims, and then I'm going to do close-up swatches for you guys and then get into the tutorial. So it says, Peanut Butter and Honey is a limited edition palette featuring nine delicious matte shimmer and creamy shades of warm neutrals, amber pearls, and honey velvets. Infused with antioxidant rich cocoa butter and a sweet peanut butter and honey scent. This collection will have you buzzing with happiness. <laughs> it's so cute. It was a must have for me because of my channel and I love Too Faced palettes. I mean, they're so dang cute. I can't help myself. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So here I have the three highlights. This one's the only one that has some glitter in it. It's called Creamed Honey. Then we have Bee Sweet, which is the more pinky toned one. And then we have Queen Bee, which is my favorite out of the three. Then we have Peanut Butter, Honey Brittle, and Honey Buns. This one is the one that doesn't perform as well as all the others in my opinion, like when it's swatched, but I do like it for my outer corner. This is Going Nuts, Bee's Knees, and Feeling Nutty, which is probably my favorite from the palette, weirdly cute. I love these colors actually. Um, they are very different from something that I would gravitate towards, but I'm excited to use them today. So I'm going to start out with Peanut Butter, which is in a lot of their other palettes that are very popular. I love this shade. And I'm going to start out with a really fluffy brush here in my crease. And I didn't use a really heavy duty primer on purpose. I just used my concealer over my eye, which does really assist with giving a really nice clean base. But I really wanted to test these shadows out and see how they're gonna perform on their own. Now there is some um, powderiness with these shadows with a few of the mattes. However, I don't feel like there's a ton of fallout on my face as long as I tap my brush off. And that seems to be the case with quite a few shadows that I've been trying out lately. But the pigment's definitely there. All right, now that I have a little bit of a base, I'm gonna go in with Feeling Nutty, which is this shade right here. Has a little bit more of a goldeny yellow bronze coloring to it, but it is matte. And I'm taking a little bit more of a pointed, more detailed crease brush, and I'm just gonna concentrate this on the outer corner and into the crease on the outer corner. Not going too far into the eye. and just softly blending that. I really like that shade. Next I'm going to use Honey Brittle, which has a little bit more of a pinky peach tone to it, and I'm going to use a flat shadow brush for this. And I'm going to go all over the lid, but mostly in this two thirds, not in the inner third. And blending that a little bit into the crease too making sure there's a soft transition there. Ooh, I love this shade. It's really pigmented. It's coming off even more pigmented than I thought it would. You can really see that nice kind of sherbety, pinky, coral coloring coming through. Very pretty. 
Hmm, I like that. All right, now I'm gonna flip my brush over and I'm gonna use the Honey Buns, the yellow shade. I can't help myself. And I'm gonna use that in my inner third. I really wanna see how this performs. Wow! I'm surprised. You can really see that yellow tone popping out. And this would be even more brilliant, like very bright and yellow, if you used a white base. Wow, I really like that. That's so fun. All right, I'm gonna go back in with my crease brush and just kind of blend that all together. This is a very soft tutorial, I feel like, but with some fun color, which I haven't really done very often on my channel. So hopefully you guys like it. Okay, I always have to do a highlight in the inner corner too. I can't help myself. So I'm gonna use, none of these really look shimmery, like bam in your face but I'll use Queen B in my inner. I'm just gonna use a more detailed flat shadow brush. Yeah, I mean, I see the brightness from it, but it's not, it's not a wow highlight for me. It's pretty. I'm gonna take the Cream Tunny, which is at the very top here, and I'm gonna put that underneath my brow. Oh, I love that as a brow highlight. That's very pretty. When you look at it in pan, it looks to have some micro glitters in it. However, when I'm putting it on my eyes right now, it's not coming off. I'm gonna take Going Nuts, and it's like a kind of a purpley bronze shade, and I'm gonna go very, very lightly with this. I'm taking a more angled brush like this, and I'm gonna just dab it once, maybe twice, <laughs> and tap it off. And I'm just going to deepen up right next to my lash line right here and into the corner right here a little bit, just to deepen it up a little bit. It's a very dark, plummy shade, so I don't want to go too crazy with it. If I was doing more of a, a deeper, smoky look, I would definitely use that, but just not today. All right. See how that just gave a little more dimension in the outer corners? So the only shades I did not use today were Bee's Knees, which is this one right here. It's more sparkly toned one. And this pink shade in Be Sweet. Yeah, Be Sweet. Which is I'm now going to take the pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the Honey Buns shade and focus that in the first third underneath my eyes here. That is so fun. I'm loving this yellow shade. I really didn't think I would. But it's like a very soft, almost mustardy kind of yellow. It doesn't come off harsh at all. I feel like this still is a very wearable, natural look, which I really love. All right, now that I have that in my inner third, I'm going to go back with, I think I'm gonna mix peanut butter and the Feeling Nutty and run that in the outer two thirds. So I just zoomed in a little so you guys can see how fun and bright those colors are. I really like that yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit of my liquid liner. I like to go just real tight against the lashes and I'm not gonna do a big wing or anything like that. And I'm going to use the Tartus Mascara afterwards. Okay, and here's the finished eye look. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and my full review on the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey Palette. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like me to review next or do a tutorial on, please leave it in the comments down below. If you're new, please do stick around and subscribe. I'm always doing hauls, review videos, as well as a weekly vlog. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye!